spoken so highly of that defensive front, it looked like it was all as cracked up to be. What, what, what going in was the general plan in terms of how you felt like you might be able to attack those guys and try to move the ball? You know, I think you had to mix it up on them. You know, obviously, and I think we threw it 37 times. You know, you you, you couldn't be one-dimensional against such a good front. Um, you know, try to keep them off balance a little bit. And I think on our drives that worked, we, we, we kept them off balance. But um, just real impressed with those guys. Coach, do you need to look at the film first before understanding what they did to you know, prevent you guys from doing what you normally do so well? I mean, we'll always look at the film to make it better, but I, I mean, I had a pretty good view on the field, you know. And your assessment? The Gardner's a good football player. Stevens is a good football player. Shane Scove's a good football player. Trent Murphy's a good football player. Chase Thomas is a good football player. You know, they, no, again. Good football players, too. What? I know that, and but we did, those guys played a little bit better than us tonight, you know, so I got to give credit to them. You walk in there after a tough loss, what do you say to those guys? You know, I told those guys that it, it's tough and things aren't always going to go your way. And that's life. That's football. You know, that's what it's all about. But um, I don't fault them for their effort. And, and, and it hurts so bad because they've invested so much. You know, and, and as a group, you know, it's a test for us. And, and we'll find out more about this football team when, when we get to practice on Monday and we and we see how we handle this situation. You know, they've, they've, they've handled success. Um, you know, and, and now it's it's the first time they faced adversity, and then we'll, we'll see what they are. But I, I, I'm confident in, in how they'll come back from this. But, you know, it hurts. And, and as I told them, you know, it, it, from my situation, you'd, you'd love to have some words that could kind of take take the pain out of it. But there aren't. You know, I think everybody will run this game over forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards. And, you know, you'll you'll feel real, real bad for a little bit of time. and But we got to bounce back from it. So. Coach, typically in games when teams have done a decent job against the running game, you guys have been able to go vertical, make some plays down the field in the passing game. How are they able to take that away as well? A little bit of the pass rush, I think. You know, some of the extended routes, I think, you know, Marcus didn't get a chance to set his feet. So, again, credit to that front in terms of pushing the pocket a little bit, uh, you know, and not letting him get comfortable. When we did have some clean looks, I think he did hit some kids, you know, the play to Keenan, getting Colt down the field a little bit. Um, you know, it, it's a – it's a good, good defense, good football team. We knew that coming in. They led the nation in a lot of categories, and and uh, they were as good as advertised. I mean, we're always going to take seven over three, right. but I mean, it, it it would be kind of crazy if we said, hey, let's just try to kick a field goal in this situation. But fourth and five instead of twenty, you're going all the time. Yeah, but a lot of that's we're going for it, not all the time. But I think when we do go for it, it's we know what his distance is. So, you know, when we're inside the twenty, we're probably going to kick it. When we're in that, you know, the ball's on the between the 33 and out a little bit, that becomes a range thing. And that's just from our work and practice during the week and understanding of, of what we feel comfortable kicking. And it's, you know, damn if you do, damn if you don't. If you don't get the fourth down, then you should have kicked it. And if you kick it, miss it, you should have gone for it on fourth down. So, you know, that's why you don't sleep much at night after these games. Hey, Chip, Rob Beard was kicking uh, field goals earlier in the season in the Maldonado. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you tried one last week. No, I don't. Well, if he tried one last week, but this week he did. He was your field goal kicker. Was that a competition thing for Alejandro? Did he did he beat out Beard essentially? Yeah, we've had we we always have a, a a competition that goes on during the week, and we made a switch. I think it was after the USC game, you know, and felt real comfortable, and um, you know, in terms of what he was doing from a practice standpoint. So you had the timeout going into OT. What was your plan going into OT? Obviously, you want to get seven. But what you did know, you tell the guys going into OT? We want to score a touchdown, you know, and. and uh, you only you don't get any timeouts. They don't carry over, so everybody just gets one timeout per overtime. So um, when we we talk to our guys, you know, have a plan going in overtime. What we're trying to do, try to take a shot and a play action pass on the first down, ran second down to see if we get into a manageable third down, and uh, you know, it didn't it didn't work out the way obviously we, we had talked about on the sideline. Chip, you guys take pride in how you practice. You say you win because of your preparation. A lot of potential distractions this week. Number one for the first time for a lot of these young guys. The injury stuff. Just comfortable with practice, I guess, this week. And yeah, I thought we practiced outstanding. You know, one thing we do pride ourselves, we don't make excuses. So, you know, the number one stuff and the injury stuff and all that, you know, that's everybody else got to deal with it, you know. So to, to say that was a, that's just an excuse if you use that and we don't make excuses. You know, Stanford played better than us tonight and they won the football game. Coach, uh, Mario has been a guy that a lot of people have said doesn't get rattled in the, uh, during a game. Today, maybe seemed like he's off on a few throws. Is you think the Stanford defense uh, got to him a bit back there in today's game? Yeah, I think the Stanford defense got to all of us. You know, they they uh, they did a nice job. You know, it's a good it's a good front, and they pushed the pocket, and 
Um, I don't think Marcus was rattled from any stretch of imagination, but when any quarterback doesn't get an opportunity to set his feet, I think that, that becomes a difficult deal for him. But uh, I, I was really proud with how Marcus played today.